since I was a kid, I've dreamed of flying. When I was five years old, my mom took me to see a movie about a boy that floats away on a bunch of balloons. That triggered dreams where I would fly over New York City and inspired my love of levitation and magic for sure. I've never forgotten that image, and now I'm going to make it a reality by holding on to a bunch of balloons and flying as high as I can possibly go. Every single stunt that I've ever done is about endurance and pushing past what I thought would be possible. I can't imagine many people would ever dream of doing that. My daughter was at the last one when she was about two years old. It was so difficult and extreme that I decided right then and there that I would find something that would inspire her and not scare her. So we're gonna have a whole field of these balloons, look. What color are they gonna be? Every color. Is there gonna be pink? Of course. Even though this seems like every kid's dream, Ascension is the most ambitious performance of my life. Thanks to my team at YouTube, I've assembled some of the best experts in their fields, led by the elite skydiver and craziest daredevil I've ever met, Luke Akins. I also have the world's leading weather experts, balloonists, and aerial engineers working on this, all of whom are critical in helping me pull this off. This whole thing is different than all of David's other stunts that I've seen in the past. My hope is that it brings happiness to people for a moment. When I look up and see this, it just makes me smile. As simple as this idea may seem, it's gonna require a lot of work. I have to get 500 jumps out of an airplane so I have a pro skydiver rating. I have to earn a hot air balloon pilot certificate and then an even rarer certification that would allow me to fly helium filled balloons. And I even have to understand how to read the wind. It's so easy to be distracted by the beauty and the magic of such a cool sight. But unlike his other stunts, this time when David's feet leave the ground, he's completely on his own. If there's a catastrophic balloon failure partway up, David comes crashing down to earth. He may also experience hypoxia, which is lack of oxygen to the brain that causes your thinking to become impaired, or hypothermia, where you start shivering uncontrollably and dexterity is lost. Then he has to release, find a safe landing area, avoid obstacles like trees, power lines, fences. Shut her down all the way. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm also not gonna be wearing a parachute, so I have to put the parachute on when I'm up in the air. The trickiest part is putting the parachute on, because if you don't get that on, you die. In spite of the risk, I'm going to do everything that I can to make this as safe as possible. And for the first time, I'm gonna have cameras that show my point of view so while I'm drifting up and away into the sky, you'll be right there with me. Of everything I've ever done, Ascension is by far my favorite, and I can't wait to share this with all of you, especially my daughter.